day one of the Wyndham Championship. It got off to a soggy start. Despite the heavy rain, crowds still came out for round one. Of course, it was just the beginning with the dreary weather sticking around for the rest of the day. And unfortunately, well, I think tomorrow morning at least looks very much the same, but I'm looking for clearing, Tim, because it's going to happen, right? Uh, it, there will be some. <laughs> there will certainly be some clearing, Tanya. And the nice thing about the rain today is that they played through it, which they did. is kind of impressive. I mean, no lightning, no thunder, so safe to do that. That's right. Just annoying. A little annoying. So, yeah, yeah let's get you your forecast. Uh, we do head into tomorrow kind of starting the same way that we started today, which has been clouds. It has been scattered hours. Right now we're in a little bit of a break, so if you have things to do this evening, you might be able to squeak out most of them on the dry side, but there is still some more rain to be had for our area. Right now, as I mentioned, not a ton of rain across the triad cities of Wilming, or sorry, Winston-Salem, Greensboro, and Burlington right now. There's more rain out to the west, though. Take a look at the mountains. They've actually gotten a couple of inches of rain out that way for today. Just a fraction of that here. Temperatures are cool. This is about as cool as you could possibly imagine for an August day. We're cloudy and 70 degrees in many of our areas right now. Futurecast. This is right now. We go into this evening. There will be more scattered showers starting to move our way, and I have my eye on tomorrow morning. 4, 5, 6 a.m. There might be a couple of downpours that greet you if you're an early riser, but they will push away. This is midday. Notice most of that rain is gone at that point and there will be some breaks of sunshine that start to develop. So this is your Friday timeline. Cool and wet in the morning, getting progressively brighter and a little warmer. We'll be in the upper 70s with humidity tomorrow and then the weekend itself will be mostly dry, humid and hot.